旦那様旦那様旦那様 Fan race is hard carrying this show. How is this show so good? It shouldn't be good, but it's all just fan race, bro. Fan race like taking cooking lessons, her messing up, her getting jealous. You know, if some girls are like, oh my god, I need some help. Fan race is like, don't act like you're fucking weak, bitch. I know you're trying to get done, Osama. The slice of life comedy aspect of this show is actually amazing. We truly are just chilling in another world. But I think the king wants us to do something, right? And we just basically said, nah, we're fucking chilling here. But, you know, with the prince being locked up, someone has to be the hero. What's gonna happen? Let's figure out in today's episode. That should do it. Ayana Koji, that should do it. Right, the cat was the demon army member. She was always saying Mew, Nyaruhodu, and they had some kind of a pass together. I'm coming for Mew. Surely, hmm? me are aware. Nah, it's not a big deal. To the beast girls, power is everything. And if, you know, Big Brother was the one that died from that purification, then he deserved to die. Literal skill issue. That's also what Delta would say. Skill issue. We can make more babies to replace them. That's fucked up though, Dana sama. You killed her brother. <laughs> boing, boing, <laughs> boing. Is he ever gonna change into a girl? Because we know, like, I thought the gender bender might be a core component of this show, but it hasn't happened yet. And it is only episode four. But I'm just like, what, what if he actually changes? What would Fenris think about him? Hmm. Is this titties bigger than Fenris? What is that? Unexpected visitor. Oh, right. <laughs> she, got, she got fucking hard carry. She just leased the Dragon Slayer title. What kind of like um what kind of benefits do you get from this? Like crazy stats? <laughs> the legendary hoe! The legendary dragon slaying hoe man. There it is. No, it's actually so much cooler. You killed a dragon with the farmer's hoe. Imagine what you could do with an actual weapon. She looks pretty cool right now like this with the cape, you know, in the wind. Okay, she's already clearing out Seam Mank Monsters. What the fuck? Today, Banner is just popping off. Already the dragon slaying ho, and now the fucking this? This is the power of Kudere's. Kudere's, I still feel like they are the best archetype of girls. Now, maybe it's biased because I didn't even know what a Kudere was until last year. All I knew, I didn't even know what a Tsundere was. I just thought that there was these types of girls that's just fucking annoying, and they, all they do is just there's fucking bipolar bitches that's sometimes nice. That's a Tsundere, right? But then I never knew what a Kudere was. And I just got exposed to it. So maybe this will wear off. Maybe it's still the honeymoon period. <laughs> she wasn't that cool after all. <laughs> wait, wait, so the entire time she was walking away in the distance with the cape and the wind flaring, she was fucking crying. Everyone has a Dragon Slayer title. Okay. It's so extraordinary that it's equivalent to a random wanderer earning a peerage. Peerage, I'm not really sure what that means. I guess it's some kind of royal title. It's like a peasant just like ascending into some kind of like noble status. Okay. And she comes from like a fake royal family, right? Well, it's not fake. It's just that it's like a... Uh, their house is just like... They're washed. It is. Oh? Who is this dude? Some strong dude? The skin tone too, last episode. The demon lord, the Mao, the dark one, right? It's not the demon lord here. They're, they're, he's called the dark one. He said that he's gonna come out and visit. Is it him? I can't tell. Is he in the disguise? He's here to meet Fenris, right? Oh shit! Is that really the dark one? He seems a little bit too meek. Maybe that is his, you know, personality though. Maybe the dark one. I'm just expecting some kind of super scary demon lord. But this show, so far, everything has been just kind of fun. So maybe the demon lord too, or the dark one, 
has some like unique quirk and they're just like casual? I don't know. Is it really just a random dark demon? Maybe it's an NPC disguise. What? The past. Gozaru. Okay. You just missed him. Gozaru was just here. Benrys, you know? Fake name. So was his identity also fake? Like his out, his disguise? Oh, is it? Yeah. But it also what? What did it say? What did the barrier say? She almost became a fucking Dark One Slayer, bro. She straight up almost fucking destroyed the Dark One Slayer. Fuck a fuck a fuck a Dragon Slayer, bro. Dark One Slayer. It's crazy. She pulled a sword on him. No, I think Gozal or Gol is actually pretty chill. I don't know. Based off his demeanor, right? So far in the last episodes, all he's been doing was like, you know, sitting in a throne and the, it's all dark and the thunder's crashing and it looks very scary. But maybe his true personality, it's pretty chill and everyone's just kind of friendly here. So, we're, hi we're here to have tea, right? We're just chilling? Because we're so much stronger than you, probably. And also, if word got out, well, he's in his disguise, right? Nobody would know. But, like, imagine, like, the king or something, they knew that we were associated with the Dark One. Then what would happen? Would they wage war on us? Great. Give us a fucking excuse to shit on them. <laughs> the laundry. Oh, hey. Hello, Dark One. Hey. Hello, Demon Lord. So, you know what? These two? What if they get married? What if this is the way that she will, like, uh, ascend back to, like, nobility status by, like, getting together with the Dark One? I don't know. They, like, were the first one to meet. You think there could be a fun rom-com going on here? I don't know. She wouldn't just ascend to nobility. She'd be a fucking Demon Lord wife, right? Like, like she's sitting right beside a Demon Lord. It's the Demon Lord wife, bro. Next title, Demon Lord wife. Yo, careful. You haven't even received the Dark One's back shots yet. What do you mean your back's given out? <laughs> Beating around the bush. A lot of innuendos today. Hmm. I kind of want to. Fuck the humans, bro. Yeah, fuck that king. Chilling in another world. Yeah, what is the lore behind the war? No. What's the reason for the war? The true reason we fight, nobody knows? So maybe the demons aren't so bad, and the human king, maybe they are the bad people. 500 years. Who started it? <laughs> Belladron? <laughs> Focus! You're about to hear like the void history past right now. This is some crazy lore. It happens then? From another world. Okay, so the humans were oppressing the demons. We got an Isekai character who sided with the demons becoming the Dark One. It almost sounds like the demons are the good people, the humans are the bad people. The soundtrack is so epic. Yo! Twelve generations of Dark One. Well, we don't want to be oppressed and hunted by the humans, yeah? Yeah, and if you're the king of the demons, this could be the queen of the demons right here, bro. Take her. Take her, bro. Alright, chill! Chill! <laughs> Yo! Is this like... The amount of mana, the aura being ex ex displayed here, is she gonna be okay? Isn't this like insane, like another feat that she was able to withstand this, right? She went toe to toe with the demon lord. Yeah, he is just kind of chilling here. Fenris doesn't give a fuck, just sipping tea. Our squad's out there too. Yeah. <laughs> It's 
entirely unfazed by my presence. Are we talking about, you know, Dana-sama? Or are we talking about, you know, Valirosa in the beginning when she drew the sword, bro? It, it, it's gotta be her, right? It's gotta be her! <laughs> and one addition to Frio notice! Yo! She's in! She's in! The Dark One has noticed! The Dark One has acknowledged, you know, Bali Rosa. Bali Rosa's ascent to, you know, her grace is here, right over here. Become the Dark One's wife. <laughs> She's in, she's in, bro. She's 100% in. You, you were jealous of the Dragon Slayer title. Fuck the Dragon Slayer. How about the Dark One Wife title? What's up? What's she doing? Wait, is he back? What's going on? Is he back? He's back. Pajamas, are you gonna be saying hello to him? <laughs> He's back. He's back. Bro came back specifically for Body Rosa. Yo, the ball she has to show the dark one her fucking bed hair and pajamas, man. Yo, look at the way he just goes all the way fucking back for that. He loves that shit. Come on over, let me feed you. See, he just keeps getting more risked by her unintentionally. Right, where is he? Where is he? He's here somewhere, bro. Oh, Body Rosa, what's up? <laughs> okay, this show is actually cracked. Okay, okay. It took me a while to figure out what kind of show this was gonna be. I should have known from the beginning. I thought it was just gonna be some trashy, generic, like Isekai with power fantasy, but it's like, nah, 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 nah. It's the rom com, the slice of life element in a casual setting like this in an Isekai world with OP powers that makes it good. The Demon King trying to riz up Body Rosa. This is fantastic, bro. Holy shit, this is good. Let me train you with the sword then. Oh, Buddy Rosa. Let, let me wash your clothes too. Oh, Buddy Rosa, what's up? Dude, he's everywhere. Yeah, hard worker, right? <laughs> Fucking snitch. Fucking snitch. Leave us alone. We're just chilling here. Nah, nah. If they go back and try to start some shit. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me try to think. So eventually, Buddy Rosa has to get rizzed. Um, maybe the knight's gonna report back to the king and they'll launch an attack here. And maybe Body Rosa will get in danger. And then the dark will show up and like catch her in his arms and like save her. And then the race will happen. Multiple times, every day. Yes, because the demons are better than the humans right now, I think. Do it. Fucking try it. Is this the same girl that was with the prince? Sorry, the hero? No. Because the other girl were way more skimpier clothing, right? This is a totally different girl, right? I thought that the, the hero's girl was also a princess. Maybe I was wrong. And I thought that she was like controlling him. But there seems to be the actual princess here. Maybe there's two princesses? Is there two princesses? I don't really know. But regardless, they're different girls. Gotcha. She seems like a good person. Let's take her. They're compassionate, understanding. This guy fucking sucks, bro. Police! <laughs> oh, bro, God! Oh, brother, this guy Thanks! Yo, he finally fucking came out of his room. He's all now not many depressed anymore. Huh? Alright, what are you what are you gonna do, bro? You finally came out of your little tantrum. <laughs> your fortress in the south. <laughs> come on, come on. Let's fight. Let's fight. Come on. <laughs> Is this every day? <laughs> I'm sorry, I gotta try to go talk to my girl buddy Rosa. I'm sorry. <laughs> Cat girl, you stay here one more day. So every day she's like, Mawasa, where am you going? The king wouldn't even talk to him, huh? I'm trying to think of some cat pun for the ass, but I can't. Mew. Yeah. Oh! Instead of Gyat, it's Nyat! Oh, there it is! N-Y-A-A-A-T! Nyat! Oh, there it is! We got it! 
これからの生活のためにもこの商売。ああ、いつからビカムマーチェンライクエブリファキンイスカイキャラクター。旦那様、本当によろしかったのですか？何のこと？国の比べ物にならない。なあ、that's short-sighted. Fuck those rewards。旦那様はバッドディーム。リーリー。できれば誰とも争いたくないだけなんだ。オールライト。旦那様の。ナリビシュガーフォーフェイス。イッツジャストユノ。トップハーフオブフェイス。きっとまたござるですわ。
Have we ever rooted for a demon lord in an isekai, bro? This fucking idiot just caused an all-out attack onto the kingdom. He ran out so quick. Where did we teleport to? Cool new area. Took like everything with us, all our crops and shit. Yeah. Hoto. あ、これなら勇者だけじゃなく、魔王にも見つからないです。あ、疲れ <laughs> All right, PowerPoint presentation to end the show. And that's the episode. Another episode of Peak Chillin' in another Isekai world. Bro, this is actually so good. I thought this show was only carried by Fenris, and she doesn't do a good job. But today, she was kind of benched. The highlight of today's episode was between the Dark One and Bellarina. Bro, this shit is great. The Dark One is just like trying to... Because like she pulled a sword on him and he was in her disguise. She didn't know who he was. And then she was like, damn, there exists another person in here that can withstand me. And he's like, oh my God, I need to fucking get her more, bro. Bali Rosa marrying the Dark One and somehow like... I don't know. I don't know. It's 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 a different type of nobility, right? But imagine if she gets the title like the Dark One's wife. I think that would be fucking hilarious. And maybe, just maybe, if a human marries a Dark One like that, this is the bridge that gaps the 500 years of animosity between the humans and the demons. A political marriage, if you will, right? To kind of, you know, bring upon a new age of peace where everyone can get along. Except that fucking king and that fucking hero, bro. They fucking suck. That hero is such a fucking piece of shit. He is so trash that we didn't even need to fight him. He's not even worth it. We straight up just fucking teleported your house away, bro. This has got to be one of the most disrespectful thing that I've seen in an anime. He prepared an entire speech, an entire monologue he's been practicing it rehearsing it to make sure that this will be his top three climax moments and what does frio do he's like nah i'm out bye goodbye i have no enemies bro is a giga chat and i'm all for it i hope that the mao will be able to find you know bella rosa later on but we did wage an all-out war against the kingdom so i wonder how that's gonna happen is this an actual serious war that's gonna happen i don't know but i think they fucking deserve it but that's it for me if you're still here if you did enjoy this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for more content and until next time take care